Elon Musk has taken a break from destroying the stock value of Twitter to try to destroy our democracy because he posted this. Kamala vows to be a communist dictator on day one. Can you believe she wears that outfit? So look, the rest of this story is gonna be people mocking Elon Musk for using AI as he did that little deep fake of Kamala Harris. And we're gonna get to that. But first, I do think it's interesting to point out what it was that caused Elon Musk, a billionaire, to take time out of his day to generate an AI image of Kamala Harris. There was a thing that triggered him and it was this. So Kamala Harris's Twitter account put out this, a little image that says Donald Trump vows to be a dictator on day one. And she says, we won't let him. So do you see what he's doing there? She's saying that Trump is gonna be a dictator and that makes him mad, Elon Musk. So he has to do the same thing to her. She vows to be a communist dictator on day one. And he even puts an image of her dressed, I guess, is what a dictator would wear. I think she actually looks pretty awesome like that. And I don't know why the image looks kind of more like Eva Longoria than Kamala Harris, but whatever, that's the best his AI can do. Here's the issue with that. Trump has literally said the thing that you don't want us to acknowledge, he said. Take a look at this. I got I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, he keeps, <laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator, so that, okay? That. Okay, so to be clear, and he made that clear, Sean Hannity teed him up. People have been saying, you say you're going to be a dictator. You're not going to be a dictator, right? And Trump says, no, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a dictator on day one. I'm going to do it 100%. See, that's the thing that he said. That's a real video. I didn't need to use Grok to produce it. It's real. And so when Kamala Harris cites that online, it's true. You may not like it, Elon Musk. It may make you feel bad that she acknowledged the thing that he said and brags about. But the only way he knows to deal with his hurt fifis is to produce a fake image associated with a fake quote to make it seem as if she did it. And I want to remind everyone of the story that we did earlier where he was saying low status people, okay, who can't accept reality and only say what feels good, they don't care about what's true, shouldn't have any say in politics. And that's exactly how he deals with the fact that the candidate that he supports is so bad that he doesn't like when that person is quoted. A little bit of irony there. And of course, it's kind of an issue that a platform holder like him is just producing fake images, lying about a presidential candidate two months out from an election. And at least as of this morning, there was no community note on that, citing the fact that it was fake. That he had just produced it, that it wasn't an actual reference to anything she'd said, and yet it had tens of thousands of uh, of retweets. And so this is just a thing you can do now, and so people are doing it. So Liam Nissan says, uh, "Can you believe he wears that outfit?" That's um, Elon Musk. Now that is a fake image. It. I hope that you all know that that's a fake image. It should be obvious because uh, his hairline isn't like that, and his arms have never been that big in his life. So you should know that that's a fake image. They've also done this, can you believe that he wears that outfit? I mean, you could just put people in whatever you want and that's fine, right? I mean, that's just a, that's what makes for a healthy social media network. A lot of people, by the way, did the Nazi thing. You can see it in this next one. Um, or hell, I mean, you could even put him in the same thing. You could put him in a, in a fancy snazzy red outfit as well. But you could also make him look ridiculous without having to use uh, AI. What about this? Now, I know that he put that on and so he would say, no, I wanted to look ridiculous. No, 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 you wanted to look funny. It wasn't funny. It was just terrible. It was cringy. That's kind of your thing. Anyway, look, Twitter, Twitter's a dead site. Don't be on Twitter. I'm not saying that threads is necessarily the solution to all of our problems. Mark Zuckerberg hates news coverage online. He doesn't want his sites to be used for that. It sucks. But Twitter's terrible and he's actively trying to make it worse every day. So I think people should get that message. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?